this dance. episode of our Sims 3 Decades Legacy Challenge. We are in the fifth part and um, I was actually gonna like wait till Abitha woke up but then Clifford woke up because he has a kid. So, oh well, not a kid, soon, soon. He has a job. Sorry, the baby's coming in this part and I'm so excited. That's like all I can think about. But yeah, he has work. I forgot that he had work, so he's just gonna take a quick shower, bath, we don't have showers, and he's gonna have to go to work. But, um, I wanted to tell you guys, show you the list that obviously Abatha and Clifford, uh, they don't actually know they're pregnant yet though, but Janet Marks and Glumo Marks are having a baby! Yeah. So, like, isn't that just so cool that Janet, our best friend, uh, is also having a kid at the same time that we are? I actually decorated a nursery. So this is like their master bedroom. But I put this little custom content bassinet in here. So when the baby is brand new, this is where the bassinet's gonna be. And then the nursery is right through here. I moved the vanity, don't ask. And this is this little nursery. It's God awful light. So I tried to make this nursery look as well for 1920s as I could. I just looked up on the internet 1920 nursery. So obviously, you know, and I don't have like everything, but this is, I also gave her this dress to wear when she's pregnant, but this is, uh, this is a nursery. It's blue and yellow because it was like, it's like a bluey greeny as a, that's what this closet over here is because that's kind of what the nursery image online kind of has so yeah but that's just this is the room it's nothing too special or anything um but yeah so one thing I didn't need to get though is a picture I need to put a painting right here so I promise you that Abatha will be the one who paints for that so hopefully we can get a really pretty picture to put right there um and yeah I'm so excited to have the baby and a little check up here on Dexter. He just runs around all the time. I don't understand why he just continuously runs around, but he's doing pretty good. He needs to go pee and sleep. He, yeah, like I said, he does, he's gonna stay outside until he's a fully grown dog. Cause I just feel like Abatha is like, I don't want a puppy right now. So yeah, he's just gonna hang outside until he's a fully grown dog. And then, uh, then, you know, We'll be good, we'll be good. Um, we'll have him just sleep on the ground. It's a little sad that he's stuck outside, but eh, eh. And like this dress, oh my god, look at her little bump. She looks so cute in this dress with her little bump. It's just like a dress. I don't I don't know if uh this is decade appropriate, but I saw it, it was in her color, and I was like, yes. So of course she's going to wear this because it's just so perfect. You know what we need to do? We need to go to the uh, bookstore and buy a pregnancy book because I guess we just need to go to the library. We just need to read one. So does the library have one? No, that's that's too much work. Let's just go buy one. We currently have the money. So we're going to go shop for books after she sells her picture. We'll have mm, those books are like 300, aren't they? So they're not cheap. They're not cheap. Uh, but we're gonna get a book because they both want to read a pregnancy book, so we'll let them do that. You know what? After she buys this book, we'll go to the party because we need to go socialize. So you have work, but you could come to the party. Sure, why not? It's not the smartest decision, but the heck? There's nobody at this party. So that party was a flop. Like, Abatha loves a good party. She's about to be a mom. You would definitely think she would, like, go out and have some parties before then, but... The party she was going to go to was um, a no bueno, did not, did not exist. So I guess they're just going to head off to sleep because I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, let's go off to bed then, I guess. Okay, so it is the next morning and he needs to go take a quick bath, which is something you cannot do. Oh, what happened here? All right, well, Abatha can fix that. I know she's pregnant and everything, but 
Oh well. And then we also need to get that sushi out of the house, Clifford, because your wife is pregnant so she can't eat it. Um, oops, good morning. Look at her cute little bump. Oh, we also technically need to announce our pregnancy, which we actually haven't done yet. But, like, you can't tell, right? She doesn't look pregnant at all. She doesn't even walk like she's prego. <gasps> oh my god, wait, they can go upstairs? How did you, how did you get here? How did you get up here? How did you get up here, my guy? Dude, how did you get here? All right, Clifford is now Clifford. Dexter, Dexter is now outside. He never left. I'm sorry that my commentary is all over the place because like so much is like, I feel like this, this game today is all over the place. All right, she just returned home and now she's finally gonna read this pregnancy book. I think tomorrow's when we're having it. So sweet, he got a promotion, which is great. He also is ex in extreme need of fun. And we don't have a computer or a uh, TV. So where's Dexter? Where's our dog? Oh my God, he's so small, I can't even see him. And I think I'll just play with the dog, right? Cause that gives them, let's play some type of war. If it works, sometimes, okay, there we go. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is obviously announce the pregnancy. I know you don't look at all like you're pregnant, but you certainly are. You certainly are pregnant. So look at them, just having their fun little fun. Well, it might be a little stressful too, but you know, announce the pregnancy. Um, let's ask about day. You can ask about bath. Criticize lousy book? Ooh, she didn't find the book very, uh, interesting. Okay, well, let's request to feel tummy. Cause of course, we gotta get these cute little pictures. Of course we do. Oh, my goodness. Okay. They're so stinking adorable. I mean, Abatha looks a little funky at the moment, but... It's not about Abatha, is it? No, no it's not. It's about the child, our soon to be born child. So then we're gonna give him this book to read. So then while he reads, we're gonna cook some dinner. Cause I know we got leftovers, but we need to like, she needs to start preparing her cooking because she's absolutely horrible, horrible as a cook. Okay, something's happening to our dog where he he keeps getting unroutable. So there's something in our backyard that makes this spot unroutable. Oh, I want our kid to be very close to Miss Janet's kid. And if we have a boy and Janet has a girl, big date. If we have a girl and Janet has a boy, well, I'm sorry to say this, but they can't date. Okay, so she, it's, it's here. It is here, and um, yeah, no, I did not anticipate it coming today. I thought it was gonna come tomorrow. Uh, I always forget when these Sims give birth. It's like two days after they find out. So I guess, yeah, today is two days, okay. I was like, why did you stop at the top of the stairs? This house isn't that glitchy. But yeah, oh my God, we're having a kid. Would you stop, put the pet down, where are you? Where, no. Fill the bowl, use this bathroom, and then come upstairs. Your wife is about to have your first born. And we're going to have like a home birth. I guess the home birth would be in the bathroom, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm, it would be. It's okay, go here. Oh my God, it's almost 11, which is actually when the baby will be born. He's not even freaking out or anything. He just wants to play with this stupid dog. Dude, you're about to have a kid. Give your wife attention. Like freak out about Abatha. Forget about her. She's she's the one in labor here. Okay, it's almost time. It's almost time. It's almost time. <gasps> oh, we had a boy. Dang it. Ugh. Okay, I'm not upset about that. As long as we have a girl next time. If we don't, we're gonna have to keep trying. Or I guess I'm just gonna have to remake the sim, and we can save the boy for next time. Apparently, but we had a boy, and see, I feel like it would be a sin to not name him this. It's a sin, but also I want to stick with decade appropriate names. See, I'm always so fixated on a name until it's actual, actually time to name that person. So, all right, let me actually just take a quick little scroll through some baby name sites 
and see what I want. Because I do want a decade appropriate name. It just, it feels like a sin to not name him this. Okay, I think I'm going to name him William because... First of all, the name that I want to name our girl is Winifred. So William and Winifred Washington, that just sounds so stinking cute. And I really wanted to name him that, but it's just William fits more with the decade. So William Washington, welcome to the world. All right, one, two, three, loves the cold and a slob. Ooh. Oh my god! And this dude straight up was like, mm mm. Oh my god, we had one, one, which is fine, but I do want a girl, and we're gonna name her Winifred. Um, can you just imagine, like, I changed his name to William, and then, like, I don't even name his sister Winifred? No, she's going to bed. Dude, you're supposed to be a good dad. Like, that's what I imagined for you. Oh my gosh! Look, you have a kid! Oh, our. First baby is here, and she looks absolutely awful. God, I really did not do very good with her facial structure. He looks so cute, and that's because he's not, a, he's my first ever not glitched baby. Oh, hi William. Okay, okay, yay. So he just needs to sleep, so I think we're just gonna put him down in his crib. And there, oh, right, that's his toddler crib. He's going to go in here, and then we're just gonna go to sleep. Because I wanna see how this works. It's shorter than a normal crib, so. Oh my god, look at him, he's in his little fashion that Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, I can't wait to see what he looks like. Y'all, it is 6 o'clock in the morning and this dang kid is still awake. Okay, there he goes. I know he just went to sleep, but I want you to say hello to him because you didn't give birth to him, so you have no relationship with him. Snuggle, play with, we'll, you know, give him a little bottle. Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't put him in the crib! Wrong crib, you... Idiot. Also, look at him. His little face, he's not big enough. He just goes right through it. I feel like Dexter's glitch because all he does is run around and he doesn't take care of his needs. Like, dude, you could stop running around. It's not that, like... Look, he was unroutable and now he's running around. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I don't know what's wrong with him. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with him, and, you know, I wanted a dog, but he is too much right now. He's too much. He's not even working properly, so <gasps> thank you. Thank you for going to take care of your kid. All we had to do was put the dog up for adoption. Who would have ever guessed? We got him last part, and now we don't. And good job, Abitha. You just reached level eight. Yay! Look at you taking care of your kid. So great. You know, you can still feed him. Page is up in two days. Um, so in the next part, we will have a toddler, and probably in the next part, we'll be trying for another kid, too. Okay, this is 240 simoleons. Um, I kind of just really want something for this nursery, so I guess we'll do this. All right, so we have a little picture in his nursery. It's just like flowers, nothing too fancy, nothing special or anything, but I mean, it'll work, it'll work. Uh, let's go eat some food and then go to sleep. <laughs> That's all we do nowadays, but uh, let's have him get up, eat some food as well, and then probably by then, William is going to need a little diaper change, so we will certainly do. Would you guys be mad if we also aged him up into a toddler this part? Would you guys be sad? Would you be upset? I hope not, because I think I'm going to do that. Because, like, why would I not? Why would I not? Okay! So, Glamo is now the father of a new baby girl. Janet just gave birth to a girl named Stephanie! <sighs> Y'all, William's future babe was born today. Oh my gosh, congratulations to the, the mob boss family. Wow. And he's been to work literally three days this week and he got $1,200. Okay, so should we have a party? Should we just, eh? no, we'll have a party tomorrow. But let's just have, you know what, let's have a close party, like a close family party. Just like for us and then 
Also for Janet and Glamo, they did just have a kid though, so like they might not show up. But I definitely want to like and just invite over a couple of people. Okay, so we're just gonna have Glam Glumo. His name is not Glamo. Glumo and Janet come over for a this, like a nice little small formal get together. You know, talk about our newborn children. Um, just do you know things like that. Uh, just because. We should have them over, have a good time. They need to come and get some, get some tea. I think this, they're gonna come actually drink some tea together. I mean, he wanted to have tea when we first met him, I think, was that? who He wanted tea, I believe. Um, and you know, it's Christmas. I don't know if this attire is appropriate for the decade, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it. And I think we're just gonna drink some tea together. There's two seats, sit here. Thank you, and drink some tea. Come on, guys, let's just have some little tea parties together. Drink some tea, a little, a little, uh, datey type style of party. I mean, it's not really a party, but you didn't even drink it. Oh my god. Okay, sure. She's glitching out a little bit. I'm so excited to see if he looks like his mom or his dad. I guess we won't really know who he looks like until until he is like older but we'll see like what eye color he has and his hair color i know his mom has green eyes but i don't know what his dad has i guess we can just look real quick like it's not that difficult of a thing to look at blue wait i think he's got blue eyes i don't know it's i don't know if the baby's eyes are accurate so we'll have to see oh my god and look at him he's reading in the room as the same room as his babe no stinking way. This is so cute. Look at this. Look at this. He's just here with his child reading. Oh, Clifford. Oh, I love that. I love that. We have, oh, another kid was born. A baby girl. <gasps> this, was, this was perfectly placed here too. Absolutely. And we can actually, like, expand this. Okay, that's been taken care of. I just, I really did not care for how this was setting out and all that. So go eat a little quick meal of some juice. Drink some juice. And why are you in that outfit? I don't know. I don't know. But then we're going to serve up some... Uh, okay, hopefully they'll bring food. Hopefully they'll bring some food. Come say hello to Glumo. Like, you don't come greet the celebrity. If he'll even say hello to you, that is. Okay, so I think before we, let's call to a meal, let's call uh, everyone to a meal. Oh, we're going to have it. Oh, that's how this works. So I have a mod, that's the mod in my game, and you can just like, it like sets food up for everybody. That's so stinking cool. That's so cool. And like, look at them. Oh, happy Christmas, guys. Happy Christmas. Before we do some gifts, let's go and, like, make sure he's good and everything. Just before, it's gift-giving time, but we do need to get on that or it'll start automatically. And my kid will be put in the wrong stinking chair. It's too late. It's all happening. It's going. Don't be late, my guy. Come on, come on. I want to watch some new Christmas gifts. It's like, are they going to get stuff that's decade appropriate or are they not? Um... We earned another easel. Okay, I mean, it was a thought that counts, right? Like, they know she likes to paint and everything, so. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. This one kind of matches her aesthetic. I love it for you. Love it. Okay, what'd you get? What'd you get this time? Oh, another. Another one. Right. No, stop it. Stop it. Pick, get a present, Clifford. You haven't got one yet. Would you stop it? You don't have a phone. They don't exist. Beautiful choice of foot attire, Glumo. Very beautiful. Wow. Yeah, that's the face of, like, literally, that's the face of, seriously, I didn't get a gift? Are you freaking kidding me? I know. I know. Cliff, I know. All right. Well, they left the party. Which I guess is fine. What are you doing? Dude, I need you to come up here and go to sleep. Does he have the writing skill? He does! Oh, that explains why he wants to do all these writing related stuff. But I'm sorry, you're not gonna get one, Cliff. You're not gonna get one. 
All right, everyone, good morning. It is William's birthday, and the birthday boy really did wake us up real bright and early with his screams. Um, I was gonna have this boy try and like reconnect with his friends, but apparently we ain't gonna do that. So she's gonna give him a bottle, take care of her firstborn child, and she actually ages up into an adult in two days, so I think we're gonna wait to start trying for another kid until she's an adult, which will happen next part. Um, because I don't like if she gets pregnant she won't she won't age i don't believe even with inras i just don't think it's gonna happen it's william's birthday i know it's my boy's birthday this is a long episode i'm gonna have to edit okay so basically i've just been speeding through the day which isn't very difficult um and abatha was painting and now she's gonna take care of her kid and because of the fact that i like to like buy the cake at the store or whatever and he just he gets out at two at work so he also got a promotion which is awesome good job clifford appreciate it um and so he's just gonna go buy a cake and then he'll head on home and then we'll actually have our birthday party as soon as he gets back. All right, it's William's birthday. I'm so excited to see what he looks like. Maybe, like I said, we won't really be able to tell, but that doesn't mean I'm not excited. You look, his mom looks really weird. But okay, she's like, this kid's already a toddler. Man, don't the days fly by. And they really do. And she actually wants to have another kid with Clifford. Oh, they all wanted to have birthday parties, but that's not happening. She wants to have a child with Clifford. She wants to have another kid. I haven't thought that's perfect. All right, well, I guess we'll end this with a risky, a risky woohoo because I do want to wait until she actually ages up to have, another, to have a kid, but this isn't the best picture for baby William, but we're just going to have to go with it. All right, here he comes. Dude, we're gonna have to end this with a risky woohoo because she already, he already wants to have a kid. Wow, oh my goody woody. He looks a little bit insane. Dude, this kid looks screwed up in the face. Oh my God, the sliders. I knew sliders messed with your sim just children, but Mm, did it really mess with this boy's lips his lips look so weird so he's gonna get his mama's lips um but he's got his dad's hair and everything else uh oh look how cute he looks in that okay he doesn't look that cute but he's got his dad's uh eyes and hair and <laughs> he looks so weird he looks so weird oh my god he looks like a like a demon no way is this my kid. <laughs> I am extremely interested to see what he looks like when he ages up. Dude, I don't even know if Stephanie's going to want to date this man. His lips look so weird. And, like, Clifford is, like, generated. I don't, didn't do a single thing with Clifford. Um, but we're just going to... Oh, my God, he looks <laughs> so weird. Um... But I'm just going to give him something. I don't, I need to look up what the actual, look how cute that is. I need to look up what the actual like protocol for babies back then was because I don't actually know what they look like, um, like what they wore. But I think I want to give him this one for right now because it's so cute. So stinking cute. And yeah, we'll kind of make it look a little boyish, right? Because, okay, that one looks actually really nice. And I need to give him invisible feet. Ooh. I got a lot of shoe choices. There it is. Invisible feet so it doesn't glitch with the... Oh, his outfit's adorable. Not him. Not him, per se. But his outfit's adorable. Aren't you? Aren't you just a cute little outfit messer, dresser, wearer, clower person? Mm-hmm. Those. But yeah, those are invisible feet. It's an actual thing you download so you can like have them wear CC onesies and it not look screwed up. It just gets rid of their feet. But the outfits you put them on give them feet so it's not weird. And I'm just going to give him his everyday outfit as a toddler as well because like, well, let's be realistic. He's a Sims baby. He's not going to be doing anything. And it is winter right. Same outfit. I think so. Okay, 
that's our little, our little William. And oh right, we gotta go risky woo woo. See if she gets pregnant. If she doesn't, then we'll wait until the next part to actually like physically try. But yeah. Well, um, let's go risky woo woo. It's a 50% chance that they will have a baby. 50% chance. Can you like go here? <laughs> oh my god. Well, fingers crossed we have a girl if they do get pregnant. Um, but yeah, we're gonna woohoo and then in the next part, it's just gonna be a normal part with like hectic hecticness. It's gonna be kinda hectic in the next part. But <sighs> fingers crossed that we have a girl if she gets pregnant. I don't really know if I want her to get pregnant, but I want her to get a girl if she does, because I want a girl. Like William and Winifred is such a cute little like sibling duo and yeah William looks exactly like his dad I mean his mom he's got like his dad's features but his face shape is a hundred percent his mom yeah a hundred percent anyway that's going to be the end of this part I hope you guys liked it I'm sorry if it was a little longer than normal um like I have an hour of footage so it was certainly a lot to film but I'm not exactly sure how long that equates and all of that so after it's been edited so yeah thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post this series weekly and uh I feel like this wasn't the best part of the series definitely but we had a kid and he became a toddler, so we played a lot of days this part. A lot. I feel like we actually played a whole week, but I'm not sure. Anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go right, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye everyone, and hey, don't forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer.